All right, this is part two of my video on this last day that I'm going to work on this for this week. And uh, just wanted to let you know I've been doing some research on uh, cowboy cups. And believe me, trying to find anything, <laughs> it's just it's almost impossible. You do a, re uh, a little search and you start getting all kinds of other websites and stuff like that. And then I, I finally uh, refined my search to uh, uh, tin cups, because that's what they were, were tin cups. And I found uh, some stuff on old-time cowboy uh, cups. Now this coffee cup here is made out of copper, and it's uh, from the copper at Butte, at the Butte uh, Copper Mine here in Montana. And uh, I bought this a while back, and it's kind of cool, but it gives me kind of a size... It's about three inches across by about uh, three and a half inches tall. And that's about the, about the normal size of a coffee cup, I suppose. And then I looked up on the web, and um, tin cups used to be uh, uh, enameled. Um, I can remember seeing uh, in some of the old cabins up in uh, Park City uh, back, uh, you know, when before it was built up and everything, back in the 50s. I remember seeing old coffee cups on shelves, and they were kind of blue with speckles in it, and uh, or white, but uh, mostly blue. And uh, even the coffee uh, pots were enameled, and pans and dishes, and they always had chipped uh, areas where the enamel eventually just broke off the tin, but. Uh, I got the measurement for this cup off of the web. It's three and a half by two and five eighths. And I think what I'm going to do is stick with this size here. And so I'm going to go by these proportions of uh, three inches by three and a half. So I'm going to make the coffee cup out of wax. Uh, once again, because wax holds its shape better. So I'll cut off uh, just a little bit more wax, and uh, I just want to start the uh, sides of the cup through the uh, pasta machine. Now, since he's about a third uh, the size of a human, I take a architect's scale ruler, and 30 on the scale is one-third the inch size. So in other words, uh, well, it's one-third. And so, I'm going to go three and a half, so I need to make that just a little wider. The, uh, it's got to be scaled proportionally to him. And so I'm cutting out the bottom, which is going to be round. Okay, I filled up the uh, coffee cup with coffee. I gotta have some way of anchoring this cup to his arm. And nothing better than a fondue stick for doing that. I'm gonna have it actually go through the handle. And uh, deep into his arm. Bend it down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to redo it. <clears throat> Boy, I'll tell you, that doesn't want to come out. <clears throat> Got a pair of pliers around here somewhere. I think that looks fine. Yeah, that looks okay. All right, now I'm going to start viewing his fingers. And I'm going to have... Uh, hmm. I think I'll do the first two fingers separate here. Because they'll go underneath the... Uh,
coffee cup will be held with the top tooth. Now I've got to even a, or level the coffee because I can't have the coffee at the same angle the cup is. So I need to level that off. Morning, Joe. You bet. All right. Cut it off at the knuckle. Yep. What I'm going to do right now is put a scarf on and uh, I'm going to fill in behind here where it would go between the hat and his neck. I don't want to make it too thick. I'm not sure I'm going to keep the scarf, but I just want to try it out and see what happens.
here I'm adding some cost because uh, I just think it needs to have some unruly hair but that's going to cost me money not a lot but just just enough to make it look like you just got up whoops that one unruly All right, that's going to do it uh, for this piece. For this, uh, for another week or so, I'm going to be uh, moving back into my studio uh, in about oh, well, all next week. Uh, it's gotten warm enough that I can do that now. And uh, what I'm doing right now is just signing my piece because of the show tomorrow. It normally wouldn't be what I would do right now, but might as well. And I've decided to go smaller on the addition size. Uh, I'd rather have it sold out quickly than have it hang around forever. So I'm thinking I'm going to make an addition of uh, maybe 20 on this. So that uh, we can sell them out quickly. Last thing you want is to have bronzes hanging around for years on end. All right, morning, Joe. Hope you enjoyed the trip. It's going to continue next week or in about a week, but uh, that's where it is today. I'm happy. All right, good night, everybody.